Well, we've taken a look at uh, magnetic uh, means of generating an EMF, and we've taken a look at chemical and solar, uh, vo photovoltaic, and that, let's have what else is there? Is there anything else? There certainly is. We have thermoelectric. Now, this particular um, idea came from NASA, I believe, where they used the coldness of space and the warmth of the inner cabin and two different uh, metals, two, do two um, differences in potential. We're going to use hot water and just the ambient temperature. And we should be able to, once the heat comes up, we should be able to turn the fan on and it should generate enough, uh, enough voltage there to, to spin the fan. Okay, we're just about there. Just got to get that heat. The temperature of the water is around about 60 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature 22 degrees. Once again, around about 60 degrees Celsius compared to ambient temperature of 22. And I might even do a voltage check on this one and just see what we have. <coughs> of course it's DC. And make sure our polarity is right. Switching over and uh, Oh, the range, put the range down a bit. There we go. around about 2 volts, roughly 2 volts there, but we'll switch it over to the fan and there we have <coughs> an EMF uh, generated by thermal, thermoelectric, enough to spin the fan, quite amazing.